previously. Here we go, lovely jubblies. And down here. And down here. So, yeah, we've got into bucket trainers. 15 buckets of lava, is that going to be enough? Hmm, maybe, maybe. I don't have plans to do too much with lava. There's a couple of things that I want to do. But I know they'll only take a bucket each. But just for setting the scene, I think I need a bit more lava than uh, what I have. Ah, perfect. That will do quite nicely. So I guess now, um, quickest thing to do would be to fly back up <laughs> rather than teleport and then walk the journey again. Seems to make sense. Should be... Oh, no, this is the wrong... Wrong area. My mistake. And then... Should be just here. Here. I meant to say, like, here. More over here. There we go. Exactly as I planned. So first things we want to do are to make the room a bit bigger. The one thing we need to be careful of is destroying the demon altar. That would not be nice. But I think for that we need to use a hammer. Ah, if I'm hammering out the background walls, this is my... Ooh, this is going to be tricky, you know. This is going to be a bit tricky... If I go like this, and I go like this, just square off the room a little bit. I don't know if I want the room to be square. I probably don't. But by squaring it off, at least we have a set uh, image in our head of how I want this to look. Well, probably, probably, and by probably I mean definitely, we'll repair that damage we just caused right here by going like this. There we go. So, we easily fill that in after we figure out what we want. I'm thinking, actually, what I might want is a circular room. But how does that transition to having a doorway and a line here? I don't think it does. Did you just fall from the sky? Maybe I need to... Bro <laughs> mimic. Silly mimic. My pumpkins know better than to trust someone like you. So let us, first of all, let's just seal this up, right? We don't want anything untoward coming and attacking us. Why would we? Why would we? Go away, digger. You ain't digging this mess. I have plans for this place. It'll look beautiful and you're not welcome. Yes, I kind of want a circular room, but I'm just not sure if it's going to work out the way I imagine. Not a full circle, but I want the bottom of it to be circular. Maybe it would work out quite well. But this has to be the centre of the image. This section here, doesn't it? How would I go about doing that? Plunk one there and there. If this is the middle... Alright, time for a bit of... Of all dirty maths here, let's throw away eight of those. We have 30 bricks. Let's do 10, a, 10 each side. How's that for a room size? I don't really want to go too much further. I guess I could do one, two, three. Four. Well, if I destroy that, make the door one more out. That way, I can definitely have another five on this side. Then it's a thirty-one brick wide room. I like that. Yeah, thirty-one bricks wide. So now what I can do is just take, if I am correctly, all of these. And that, and that's how the, wide the room is going to be. And in terms of height, how tall do we want it? I don't. We, I don't think we need a middle point of height. 
But I do think you want it to be taller than this. So let us uh, peel back some more. It is awfully dark up here. Awfully dark. That's right. Keep doing this. Blah, blah, blah. Looks like I might need to do this a bit further out, actually. Wonderbar. That is how I want this to roll. So I think the thing to do in here, actually, would be to maybe uh, get some stone and just fill it in like it would be a natural-looking area. So the mud that I'm using is just placeholder mud. Don't worry about it. Oh, dirt. Should I say dirt? Just placeholder dirt. Don't worry about it looking... Funky, because that is not going to matter one bit, because it's going to get removed. There, right. And then this one is going to be here. Get that there. Can we take this one right here? Here, there we go. Right then, so we want to fill in all of this wall up to this. That's going to be a pain in the butt, but what we can do is if we try to make this look a bit... Oh, God, I hate saying natural. I always make things look natural. If we like fill the bottom with stone and the top with dirt, that's going to save on the old resources. And... Look pretty good in the process, you know? And then we do it up again, and then up again a bit more. It's all about making things look good. That's why we're here, we're sprucing this up. Dig it, don't, right. Give me that. There we go. And then one there. Uh, not the most riveting, but at least you see my process. And again, you get great insight into how uh, these let's builds work, you know, the proper full-on let's builds. Think of the little bit of ground here I'm having to fill in, and then imagine some of the bigger builds where I've had to fill in a lot more, and how tedious that is, and how much time that takes. So if we go to the map in a second, you'll see that this wall that we filled in looks like it could have been here all along. And we zoom in. Look at that, that looks like that wall was there to begin with. Alright, get rid of that itch on my face. Let's go get some more stone and dirt. Let's get rid of you because you're slightly annoying. Stone and dirt, plenty of the stuff around here. We'll probably get plenty of more of as we go. Absolutely do not need as much, absolutely not. But, I want it, so, well, there's a good reason for you. Now, sadly, is a bit of a trek, and by a bit of a trek, I mean it's going to take us about 15 seconds. Start the counter, and let's see how long it actually does take to get over there. You know, it does seem a bit further away than I remember, but I am not the best at navigating my own world. I always want to fly up and over when I know I don't need to. I drop down here. Okay, so this is going to go like that, and then... Wow, I really do not need a lot of dirt at all. I mean, stone. I used, what, five pieces? Four pieces? The dirt, however, is something we need a lot more of, because we fill this in. And we're done. Question is, do we... Yeah, let's do this. There's a bit there of stone. I just wanted to... make it look normal. And... here... Two. Right, I'm happy with that. Next step is to cover this place in torches. So we can see what we are doing at all times. Is this bright enough? Is this good enough? Right here. Perfect. I can just about see. This is the level of brightness I need when I play Terraria. Okay, so the first thing I forgot to get something. Uh, 
luckily it is just in here and it is I don't think I have a single one wow that's really cool actually I don't have a single one that I need do I have money I have money I think I buy it from the dryad as you know you know what I don't need to buy any I have, I, have, I have something, I have a tool for this very job. Something I mentioned earlier. The Staff of Regrowth will do for me. That's all I want. Now I'm out. I'm done. Up and over. So yeah, the thing I'm, the thing I'm most concerned about is accidentally breaking this demon altar. So I will save periodically. Just in case that happens, and we can panic reload. But otherwise, I think we're good. So let's begin by saving it right now. Yeah, I can't accidentally do it with this, so that's good. Ooh, no, I don't. I don't want to cave. I don't want to cave at all. I will want, however, is to do this. There we go. I want to be about this deep down. And then uh, I'm going to need to fill in some of this stuff down here, unfortunately. It is unfortunate, but you know what? It's fine. It's all. In fact, you know what? I, I want it all to be stone. All stone. That's, I think, is what is going to complete the look of this area, as if it is actually done in stone, because this is where I'm going to fill it with lava, you see, underneath the actual area itself. I'm going to get rid of that stalactite. Fill that in. And here. Now what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to etch a pattern in into the stone, so it's not just like a straight pool of lava. I want a pattern to be on it. I haven't figured out what pattern I want yet. But, I don't suppose it matters. We can just sort of figure out as we go. There. So yeah, with lava on stone, I think lava on stone is going to look better. We should probably dig this wall out a little bit. So it's not going to be this deep. We're just going to form a little pattern here, and then we're going to have a layer on the top. So, if we do... Like this, and then this, and then uh, like every few across, like that. Oh, that's wrong. Or maybe where that one would be, and then what that one would be. Something like this. You see what I'm getting? What I'm getting at here? So one, two, and then on the third, one, two, on the third, one, two, on the third, like that. And then there's a layer on the top. I know it's not the greatest pattern. In fact, you know what? Here's what we do. Put that one there. Then we dig this and this and then we fill in this and this no this and keep that one and we get rid of that one <laughs> all right space of two a dip a space of three a dip a space of two this space of two a dip space of three then a dip space of two then one of these That's right, that's a little bit different is all I'm, all I'm trying to go for, and then maybe make that double. That seemed good. That seemed interesting. 